Hey kids, Grandpa here. Hey, I want to really thank Jake over White House on the Hill channel on YouTube for adding me into his top 10 videos. Apparently my ski cooking video is one of the top 10 funny homesteading videos on YouTube this, this go around. So that's awesome, Jake. I appreciate it. I hope people enjoy watching the video. I had a lot of fun making it. And I'm looking forward to welcoming the new viewers that'll see that to my channel so they can get a kind of an idea of where I'm going with things. Little background on that video though. I, I had done a video where I was out skeet shooting. I like to shoot skeet. For those of you that don't know, that's where I take a clay target and I throw it through the air and I shoot it with a shotgun. Uh, I was at a skeet field shooting around a skeet and videotaped that and put up a channel video. Great. Well, a lot of my viewers were commenting they wanted to see some cooking episodes from Grandpa up at my farm there in Alaska. So I kind of got to thinking about putting the two together and I decided to have some fun with it. So I got some clay targets and I loaded up my charcoal grill smoker thing and I got a little bit of the secret sauce to add on there to make the magic happen and put the skeets on the grill and added the magic sauce and uh, you know the grill's flaring up and having fun with it. And Anyhow, lo and behold, my skeets ended up becoming a couple ribeye steaks and, uh, and old grandpa had an excellent meal. Not like I've missed very many of them in my life, but... So it was a lot of fun making that. I hope you guys enjoy it. A lot of other people seem to do that. A little background on my channel. Uh, going through some changes, as always, uh, I am a man of two passions. Uh, and my two passions are polar opposites of one another. My one passion is I want to sail around the world. My other passion is I like to farm and homestead. Um, can't do both. And so I vacillated back and forth between the two. Uh, in fact, I came out of Alaska and drove down to Florida to go buy a sailboat and in so doing visited with my family here in Ohio and sort of reconnected with my sons and my grandchildren and uh, decided, uh, you know, make another change with my plans. I'm going to stay here in Ohio and start a new farm. So this is going to be kind of exciting. You guys are going to have an opportunity to see a homestead start from the ground up but by somebody who has been there and done that. I've had, I've had farms before. I've raised lots of critters. I've done this kind of stuff. So I'm going to be starting a whole new farm. I'm a real estate broker by trade. So you're going to, I'm going to take you through the buying process, what's involved in trying to locate a farm, what you should be looking for, uh, what to expect cost-wise. Uh, you know, here in Ohio, you know, it's a good litmus test for most places in America. Property values in Ohio are a little less than a lot of other places in America. But it'll give you an idea of what you got to be looking for and things you should be trying to do when you're looking to start a farm or a homestead. So, I hope you enjoy it. I do have a bit of a warped sense of humor, so you're going to see things a little off kilter, but we're going to have fun with it. We're going to raise a lot of critters. We're going to have some good food and some good fun. So please stay tuned, watch the channel, and I hope to welcome you to Grandpa's Farm. Thanks, guys. You have a really good day, and, uh, you know, try to really take care of each other, if you would, please. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.